Okay, I am at, uh, this is Seagull South South. There's Poncho putting more briars on briar pile. <laughs> Man is talented, and there's Ma over there supervising. This is going to be one whole bunch of fire if we ever set it off, which we will. But uh, this is our, uh, this is out here. We have 17.5 acres of uh, beautiful country. We've been neglecting it the last few years because we've gotten older. But uh, we will uh, start paying attention to it here, probably more, because it is pretty. And uh, I'm going to walk up in here and see if I trip. Don't forget to leave that side open so you can go through. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we want to pay. Now, Poncho spent the last two days making this pile, and he made most of it from there. That is our lane coming in. I believe that's a third of a mile uh, from the road here to the property line and then back up in here. And me and Ma have, uh, over the years, <laughs> worked our little fingers to the bone because uh, this was all, all you see there with the trees and the clear in between the trees, we cleared it all okay. by hand. With a Mexican fork. Yeah, I like the Mexican fork. That's pretty cool. He's, He's, he's very good, but uh, we're going to have a fire wood am when this when we turn that off. Going to have to. We still got water, so we do we do have a hydrant. I'm going to have to get more hoses. Get more what, baby? Hoses. I got to get more hoses. Yeah, so we can go around the thing. We'll scalp we'll scalp the grass down, flush to the ground, and then wet it down, and then we can fire that thing off, and not be in worry of uh, you know incinerating half the country. <laughs> we, we we have uh, uh, 17.5 I call it 20 I always round up you know I'm a blowhard anyway so but uh, this is uh, this is our place in the country we originally were going to live here but there's some uh, reasons why we chose not to boy you did a nice job on the side of that lane poncho my gracious that's pretty yes sir let me get out of the way Yeah. Well, those things will go up like <laughs> just chaff. Yeah, I always leave that other side empty so we can get in and out. This is our Mexican pecan. <laughs> That's your machete? <laughs> you know, she can be dangerous with that thing. Change my voice. Have me, have me singing soprano. He did. Well, let's see you use it. All you folks up there at Seagull North, this is what we do and we're at Seagull South. Yeah, I don't think he got quite the technique that he has. <laughs> this is going to be the thought for the day here. Ma's thinking about going after somebody with that machete. I'm sure that all our friends up at Seagull North will say, what is she thinking about? <laughs> you want me to show you how to do that? <laughs> See, I'm, I'm a semi-pro with a machete. No, not really. I'd hurt myself. Well, hop it, Diana. <laughs> yeah, we need you to show her how to use that. I know. You were dead before. <laughs> She's kind of lost her technique, huh? Yeah. You've done a spectacular job there. I tell you. By the way, I left the automobile running. The air is running, so she's comfy. She'll probably lock the windows while I'm out here. But figure it out. <laughs> You got a stick for you, man. It didn't take but 15 minutes. <laughs> this is today's episode of. I won't bring you any more water. Yeah. 
this our episode of Seagull South. I'm going to shut this thing down, and boy, Facebook is going to be wild tonight. Anyway, my darling has been up here supervising. No, I've been working, didn't I, Poncho? Yeah. Oh, she has? Okay. She's been working. And this is a shillelagh. Dad, this put is a, a Mexican shillelagh. Put a crease in your head, too, I'll tell you. All right. That's enough for today.